That time of the year again. We got a zero overall rebuild. Rebuilding a zero overall team. As you can see, all zeros on the screen. Get this product placement out of here. Or pay me. Anyways, it's time to show dad some love. And with Father's Day quickly approaching, nothing quite says I love you, dad, like a ball trimmer. So I don't get what that is. I don't get why that happens. It's a drag. It, ha it happens like two out of every eight times. AKA a fourth of the time. I don't know why I phrase it like that. 25% of the time. Best kicker was Josh Lambeau. Nice. And then best punter is not listed. It's very sad. Very sad. <laughs> a little bit of a sneeze in there. Sean Murphy Bunting wins Super Bowl MVP. I'm guessing Joe Burrow threw a game losing pick six. Not ideal for the Bengals. And I would care a lot because I'm the world's biggest Bengals fan. Right comment section? Hilarious. Two former New York Giants offensive guards, by the way. That's how you know there's a problem. It's me, touchdown. Chiquisky tart. Chiquisky tart. Whatever the freak his name is, man. UI doesn't make ah. It can't be Jaquaski. I know it's Jaquaski. It is Q U I. Like. Is, is it John Quancy Adams, the freaking president? No, it's not. How? Uh, gosh. That's got to be a touchdown. And there's a flag. I swear to God, if this is holding. I, d I swear to God. Don't show him. Don't show him. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's un. Un unreal. They don't want to see me winning. I feel like Kodak fucking black, dude. We got Kaepernick. Why did they sign a quarterback? I have Phil Roster off. That's the only player they signed? Do I make a terrible joke that people are actually going to re get really mad over? Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. This is the only team Colin Kaepernick could actually get signed to. Oh, unsub strike. People can't take a joke. I'm releasing them. All right. Um, should I have not said that? You make a good point. We actually had an interception. Josiah Scott had a pick. How? Those are weird looking attributes. So he's, you know what? He probably deserves to have a few interceptions. He has 255 man zone coverage and press. So clearly something didn't compute. <laughs> Where the stats or the attributes are completely broken. We are 5-2 at the midseason mark. Led by the greatest rookie quarterback in NFL history, Howie Rivers. Ain't no river wide enough to keep Howie away from a W. You know what my big thing is? I think moving Devin McCourty into this trade would make it happen. But I really just want to split up the family. <laughs> Get Devin McCourty out of here. We have Curtis Samuel now, who kind of feels like a Patriots-type player. Usually when I say a Patriots-type player, I mean a white receiver. <laughs> but no, it's not Curtis Samuel. So this is kind of like what would happen before the Patriots even signed Cam Newton, when Jarrett Stidham was thought to be the guy. He was not. He was never going to be. And what it really came down to, as we're 1-4, and four, is the fact that Jared Sidham is bad. For a team that's 2-5 and five in real life, why, like, settle for mediocrity when you can be absolutely terrible? No way. This is worst-case scenario. We went 6-10, and 10, won the division with six wins. <laughs> Are you serious? Now, the reason why this sucks is because if we go into the standings here, I, I cannot believe this. This is the only time this has ever happened to me. A six-win playoff team? The reason why this sucks is because we are going to be picking, like, a playoff team. It isn't done by record, necessarily. Imagine if we were to win a playoff game. Look, you got to go scroll all the way down. <laughs> we're going to be picking in the 20s, and we won six games. That's a decent punt. It's not a great punt. Or is it? It is! The best to ever do it. I can't play offense, but I can punt. 
down at the one. Best punter on YouTube. Do not follow any false prophets. I am the punting prophet. Fill and shoot. It's useful in football and other places. Joe Schobert knows a little bit about that. What a weird play. What a weird game. My laundry's ready. It's a dryer. And, uh, yeah. I don't really have a joke lined up for it. Like, nothing's, you know, I'm not wet. I don't, what? Oh, I don't know what to tell you, man. He's going down. Josh Allen brings down Tannehill riding the back on his bike. Nope. Not the order those words go in. You guys will figure out, you know, what mistake I made there. Tannehill's going to walk in butt naked like this is a nudist colony. I mean, he was so uncovered, it's ridiculous. As a man, Chubb is just so explosive. Oh my goodness. It's like my B hole after Taco Bell. He came in so fast. I think he has a sack in every single game of his professional career thus far. I don't know what that celebration is on the sideline, but I am. What is happening? Dude, if you've got young, impressionable kids watching, turn it off. What was that? Yeah. He's 21 years old. Oh. I mean, like. He turned I'm, 21 I'm, I'm in, 22 in late July. He's just built different than me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> don't, 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 uh, don't cut yourself short here, friend. But, uh, we're, we're both, hey, we're both, we're both 6'3". And you're both 254 pounds. Just very different shapes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I keep it in my hips. I got <laughs> <laughs> and uh, get into this rebuild. It might not be all that hard, but something that also isn't that hard is today's sponsor. And while we might be rebuilding the Vikings, you know what actual Vikings were not immune from struggling from? Yeah, you guessed it. Erectile dysfunction. Oh, this has Vikings written all over it. Also, what in the world is his name? And on the... Oh, man, on the unlikely possibility that someone with the last name Krasnodomsky is watching this video, I apologize, but... That sounds like a sneeze. What is that last name? Chase Lucas. A linebacker. Not to be confused with Chase Lucas. Not a linebacker. What's Chase Lucas up to? The Pac-12 just came back, so he's going to be playing cornerback for Arizona State. Is he uh, Is he playing in 2020 or did he opt out? He's got to play. Yeah, I think he is. But uh, Ty McDougal. I don't love those guys. I have the freaking Hulk living above me. I don't know what happened. I must have not had an upstairs neighbor for months and months and months and all of a sudden i tweeted about this if you don't follow me on twitter make sure to do that twitter.com slash bangle youtube link is in the description all of a sudden it's like there's a men's basketball league above me and all i hear is stomping and jumping and like basketball dribbling even though it's not that all day it's frustrating he's okay and I <laughs> That's how I sneeze, I guess. Um, don't worry about it. I'm okay. Well, I'm unwell, but I'm okay. I mean, Troy Dye is someone who was drafted by the team. He, my coach has a Microsoft Surface sticking through his chest. Should probably look into that. I downloaded Madden 19 to rebuild the worst team on the game. Remember when Antonio Brown was like the best receiver in the league or right there if he wasn't the number one? Also, remember how awful this song was? Uh, can't listen to it, horrible. Stop me. Oh, somebody stop it. Stop my ears from bleeding listening to this damn song. Horrible. Thought this dude's last name was Masseuse for a second. I'm like, damn, he would be a good fit for the Texans. Either way, Josh Allen makes a nice play today. He wants to win, okay? I hate being alive. Trading Puna Ford, Plumber. You know, Babe Ruth uh, played with plumbers, so. I don't know. I, there's nothing there. We got Louis Armstrong over here. I, I let me tell you I considered doing a Louis Armstrong impression just there and then I I thought about it and I go why would I do that so imagine me doing one and that's what it sounds like maybe if you don't know Louis Armstrong grow up I feel like it doesn't look that bad well okay well I may have spoke too soon as we cut to Phil Sims and Jim Nance uh Phil Sims looks like he's melting. And Jim Nance also looks like he's melting. Anyway, we crushed him. Is that Bill O'Brien? Yeah, he looks like a mean little kid. Ah, 
We had uh, the Wax Museum. What, uh, Madame Tussaud brought to you by. That's the big storyline. The Jags will be wearing alternate uniforms this weekend as their quarterback with the tiniest face of all time uh, tries to win the Super Bowl. Running the ball. Gonzalez back up the middle. Ball dozes a duck. It's hunting season. Dude, the Texans are kryptonite. The same way Mac Jones can't throw in a light breeze, we just can't beat the Texans in the playoffs. It just can't happen. Receiving Michael Jackson. Ah, okay. I could have sworn he died, but I guess not. He said, only thing better than touching the end zone is, okay, well, we don't have to go there.